two good sides. Um, Gloucester came down here, played some good football. I thought City played some great football themselves. You must be pleased with the clean sheet. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think obviously it's what you try and aim for at the start of every game as a keeper. You want a clean sheet. Um, you want to win as well. But fair play to Gloucester. One obviously for the game. I think they played really good football. Tried to get it down and move us about. But also credit to them for coming down today. A long way to come. So thank you to them really. David, it's been a, uh, an interesting season to say the least. Uh, stops, um, starts, um, but th this team has played extremely well throughout that season. And what's it been like to be part of the squad? It's a privilege to be part of the squad because um, we've got a very good group this year, a very young, talented group who are willing to work hard, obviously to achieve in football, like progressively and obviously a higher level, but somehow we managed to be together in this season and obviously we did really well as a group. Yeah, it's been a great, a great season in terrible, terrible circumstances. We know obviously the, the state of the country and everything that's going on and, and that's led over into the football and as you say, you don't know sort of from one week to the next What's, what's going to be going on, are you carrying on, are you not? And with all those things going on, I think we've done brilliantly as a, as a, as a club. I say as a club, not just as a playing staff and coaching staff, just everyone involved in the football club has, has been absolutely tremendous this year. It's been a, um, a brilliant season from one point, in effect the, the way that the, the team has played. Uh, it's been a disappointing season from another and the fact that it's, it's curtailed, it's, it's come to, to a conclusion a bit early. Um, how have you guys kept it together mentally in the dressing room? Uh, I think I have to give credit to the management, done a really good job of just keeping everyone's heads kind of screwed on and focusing on what we can kind of affect. I think it's got a great, great team spirit. The boys, the boys are together ment mentally physically and everything so we dug in together and then work and see we are like literally we could have won the league this season but unfortunately the stops and start didn't really help. When the friendlies come up go out there and treat it like a league game um, which I think you'd have, you'd have seen today with the effort and intensity that everyone put in. Um, it, sometimes when both teams do put it all into a game it becomes a game where everyone cancels each other out and I think that was a really good example of it today. Um, but apart from that it, it was just working hard and then we got a chance to, to be blessed enough to go on a football pitch. A lot of people in non-league have not had the opportunity to do that, and we have, so we kind of looked at it as a bit of a blessing. But we were lucky enough to have the chance, and that was more than enough to motivate this group of boys. We were all together mentally, literally we were willing to continue training hard together all the time, stop and start, nobody showed any bad attitude, everyone like, stick together as a group. At the start of the season, the chairman called a couple of the older players in, we had a had a meeting, he, he f told us where he f what he thought we could achieve and where the club could go and obviously apart from it finishing, he's he's not been far wrong. We didn't stop training every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, we're still together doing playing friendlies and training here and there. Uh, it, we just continue running, doing our stuff all the time, like forgetting about all that things that's happening in the background. We kept the, the mentality together and worked hard as a, as a group. I feel the club in such a short period of time has really, really moved on in, in all aspects. It's promising, looking good for next season. Honestly, these youngsters are very, very, very good. And I'm impressed with what I've seen this year, watching them play, honestly, it's, it makes me proud to be here next season as well. I think it's really exciting going forward. Um, is, is that the thought process of yourself and, and the dressing room? 100%, 100%. From what I've seen or heard, there's not a lot of people in there that would want to go away from this club right now. I think everything's obviously going in the right direction on and off the pitch. And, you know, the way we've performed this year, you can only but be excited for next year. It's a great place to be. It's, it's a lovely club. Everyone is always in this together. Um, actually, you guys in the media do a brilliant job. Um, you know, the guys, obviously, management behind the scenes, even the physios, everyone, everyone is in this together. There's not one person that pulls against the direction we're trying to go in. Um, and it looks like next year we'll be here to go again. I think it's been an absolute pleasure watching you from the sidelines this year, um, yourself and, and the whole team. Um, I think you've, uh, you've handled yourself really, really well, done, done yourselves proud, done the city proud. Um, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. 
Um, it's been lots of ups and downs this season. Um, lots of good things to take away from it. What are some of your, your best memories of the season so far? Uh, in terms of games, I would say uh, Dartford away, obviously, it was a really good one. Even then, last, last kick of the game winner for Shawnee. Fleet at home coming down from 2-0 and winning 3-2 I think that was quite early on and it kind of for me anyway I felt like we had a good chance going into the season anyway but after that after one of the teams that was expected to, to be up there challenging for the league I thought we had a more than good chance of doing well this year and it kind of went that way and, and to be honest there's not a lot of games where you can't take highlights from because we only lost one in the league so you know twos and throws but yeah, loads of highlights, but them two, I'd say, are my favourite ones. What's uh, what's the thought process in your mind? Um, it's been a frustrating season for me. I don't, I don't think, obviously, the, the state of the, the world has, has helped that, the stop-start, and it's been difficult for me to get fit, but I will do everything I can during this time to start next to, to play again. I still think I've got something to give on the pitch, but... We'll have to see when that comes around. David, that's absolutely brilliant. Thank you once again for your time. Thank you again for your time all season. Um, thanks for this afternoon and I wish you well in the future. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate.